Hello all my crafty friends and thank you for stopping by uh, my channel today. I am a little bit late, I've just purchased some of the Distressed Oxide Spray. So uh, I've just been on leave, just on holidays, so that's why you haven't seen me for a couple of weeks. But what I want to do today is I just want to play, I know there's heaps of YouTube uh, videos out there about distress oxide sprays and that but I really did want to do a comparison um, color to color so how I actually picked my colors is I picked my favorite colors that I use all the time so I've got spiced marmalade abandoned coral wilted violet mermaid lagoon and of course peacock feathers so I've got some watercolor cardstock today and I thought I might turn these into some cards but what I want to do first is do the backgrounds so I've got a mini mister here uh, for fine mist and I've also got a water bottle here that sprays out bigger drops now I do have some paper towel on hand as well so today I just thought I would just give these a go. So first of all I'm going to use the Distress Oxide sprays to spraying um, on them and then I will use my ink pads as well. So you can hear Molly in the background, she's pretty excited as well. So this is watercolored cardstock. Uh, I'm not sure what brand it is actually because I cut it all up. I think it might be Montmart um, which is a brand out here in Australia. Um, and it's readily available so I do buy products that I can just put my or buy um, and just put my hands on instead of waiting for it so let's get started so with these you do need to shake them up and I've seen on YouTube that you shake them like a bell or up and down um, I don't know if there is a particular um, way but I think as long as you get that mica um, off the bottom so you can see that it settles on the bottom of the bottle so you just need to mix that up so it is all thoroughly mixed you don't want globs of and you can just see there that it's stuck to the bottom there so I'll just give that a really good shake so I'll be right back now I am really a lover of Distress Oxide inks so uh, I have been a bit slack in buying some of these and today I just thought I would just have a play. So I'm going to put down a couple of colours, I'm going to use the Mermaid Lagoon as well. Now I'm just going to dry this off because I'm going to use some of this around here as well. So the trick is uh, also to dry off each layer. Now I'm just going to just spray this and just see if I can pick up some of this colour as well because I don't like wasting it and also I don't want it turning to mud as well. So it is going a bit green. I'm going to just put down some more straight on here and I'll just spray a little bit of water on. Okay. That's a bit better because I did want some of that coming through. I'm just going to use a paper towel here just to wipe this up. It's turned a bit green. <laughs> okay. Now the other thing that I'm going to give this a go is I am going to use my ink pads and I'm just going to go 
around the outside just to cover up some of these oops areas here so I'm going to probably use these combined with my ink pads as well so just covering all that up okay so I'm just going to splatter this with water just to reactivate the oxide and you can start to see straight away the beautiful oxide coming through like that. So I'm just going to dry that. Right, so that's really, really lovely. Love that. Okay, so we'll just wipe that off again. Okay, so I'm going to now, I'm just going to wet this in a tick, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Put some of this down and I'm going to use the blue again. Just smooch that down. Just wanted to do a comparison so I'll just spray that. Spray that. Now what I want to do is just Pick up some of this colour. One thing I do notice is that the oxide soaks into this paper so it doesn't sit on top of the paper um, sort of thing. So it just soaks in um, and the more water I put on the wetter my paper is getting here. So I was a little bit disappointed um, with this using the watercolour cardstock. Um, so I might just um, try and do something a little bit different. Let's dry that off. This time I'm just going to use some... Oops. I ran out of... Um, round ones so I had square ones so I'm going to give that a go and I'm just going to once again just go round the edges just with this So I find Distress Oxide is very, very forgiving as well. So once again, I'm just going to give it just a light mist this time. And just see if... I wasn't happy with the mist. I'm just going to go in again with some. And it's just all about, I'm just playing. That's it. Excellent. And you can go for the look that you want. So they're the two colours that I did use. Now, as you can see, using the Spice Marmalade and the Mermaid Lagoon has given me some green as well, which is really, really um, nice. So you can use these as backgrounds or you can die cut them. There's a number of ways that you can use these. So I plan on making some cards later on today with these. Now, 
I'm just going to get some clear gesso and because I'm not sure if this watercolour here, this cardstock that I've got is any good. I'm just going to paint some of these with clear gesso. So, and I'm just going to do, I might do a couple of cards actually. I might do it on the smoother side rather than the other side. Oops. Now with gesso, it acts as a primer as well, or a sealer, I think a sealer. So what I'm going to try and do is, oops, I'm going to seal this paper just to see if I can get the distress, distress oxides to move around. So. And I'm just using what I've got. I'm not going out and just buying stuff as well. Oops, a little bit of a hair. Okay, so I'm just going to dry this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so my card is all dry and I have just put one layer of clear gesso and I've just used Sorry. Crafters Workshop because I do love this stuff. Now, I'm going to probably use these two colours here, um, so I'll do one at a time and see if it changes the composition of the paper as such. So that's that one. So I'm just going to dry that. Okay, and I'm going to use up uh, the bits here on my mat. Okay, now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to get some of my wilted violet, just stick down. And my abandoned coral. Okay, I'm just gonna spritz that till it beads up. And just See where that takes me. So I'll just dry that off. Okay, and you want to dry off each layer. Okay, so I'll just get some more here. Just dry that off. Okay, and see here, there's um, some really pinks here. The abandoned coral and the wilted violet have mixed. So I'm going to see if I can pick that up somehow. Okay, let's try that off. Now I'm going to put some bigger drops on here, okay, so just to see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to dry it without taking it off. And there you have it. So really, really nice. I love that effect. So really good. Okay. So I've got a, another card here. I'll just clean that up first. 
so this time and I did have a bit of purple on here over spray so what I might use is the abandoned coral and the peacock feathers so once again this has been clear gessoed as well so spray and uh, just dry that. Now just while I've got that I'm just going to get some plain stop um, card watercolor cardstock. Just going to pop that down and I'm going to do exactly the same and put down as much spray. And I find that it absorbs it. So you can't make it uh, run. Where the cardstock that I painted with gesso could. Okay, I'm just going to dry this. Okay, I've also got some photo paper which I have been trying to use up. So um, yeah, and this is a glossy paper. So that is some plain cardstock. I um, photo paper. So this photo paper mm. isn't absorbing the colour anywhere near the water cardstock so I'm pretty pleased with it actually. Next. Awesome. I'm going to add some red. Right up the top here and up there. I might just Okay, that is really interesting. So I've only used these two colours, but can you see the blue through here? Okay, so really, really interesting. Now I'm just going to clean this off and what we're going to do is, I'm just going to spritz with water again because I do like that oxide. Okay, so I've got your three cardstocks here. So I've got plain watercolour. Okay, I've got gessoed watercolour cardstock and then I've got my um, photo paper and this is just Kodak photo paper that you use through your printer. So um, once again, I like the bigger blobs. Okay, so I'll just get some And just see now you can see this one here automatically dries quickly because it's absorbing the paper this one has got gesso 
on it, the clear gesso, and this is my photocopy paper. So, right, I'll just wipe that one off. There you go. And I'll do the same with the photocopy paper as well. And really hasn't oxided, but let's dry them off. Okay, so these two are the watercolour cardstock. One gessoed and this one is just plain. Look at the difference. Okay, so with the gesso it has really primed the paper. With this one you can actually see the oxidisation. So really, really interesting. And then this one is my Kodak paper, my photo paper. Okay, so it didn't really oxidize all that much. So, but what I might do is, I'm really happy with these two, how they are done. I absolutely love that. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? And that one, even though it's not gessoed, it's just plain watercolor cardstock. Isn't that brilliant? Okay. And once again, with this one, with the blue coming through. So I'm just going to get some water, okay, and just see if I can once again just see if I can do something with this. Okay, so that's where it's wet. I'll just dry that off. So I put some more water on that and it didn't oxidize, but I cannot believe how the blue has come out. Really, really nice. So I'm going to use this as well. Okay. Okay, so I've done the watercolor cardstock um, here and I've got gesso um, on here as well. But what I thought I might do is just get some regular, normal, everyday cardstock. Okay, now this is just a cardstock that I get from Spotlight, our local Spotlight store, um, and I use this primarily for making um, cards. So I just wanted to see how the uh, Distress Oxide Sprays would uh, go with the normal card. So I'm going to pick two. I'm going to pick probably these two. I don't think I've used those two yet. No. <laughs> so I did want to just do them a little bit different. So just making sure that they're all mixed. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Wilted Violet. Okay, and then I'll do the peacock feathers at the top there. So just going to give it a drying off. Now it doesn't soak into the paper like it did with the watercolour paper. Okay, so it did stay on the top a bit more. Okay, now I've still got some Distress Spray here and I'm going to use that to my advantage. And just see if it does the same thing. And don't forget, you do want to dry in between each of the layers. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside for the time being. I'm just going to get another piece of cardstock. Okay, I'm just going to spray just a little bit just to see if I can mix this around. And it's all just about having a play. OK, 
okay and you can get different effects with this okay so that went really well so I'm just going to do some of the edges here give that a dry okay I'll just clean this up okay so one I directly sprayed on this one and this one here I picked up the excess off my glass mat now I'm just going to use my water technique here and try and see if the oxide comes out which it should I'll do both. Now you can see already how vibrant this side is here. So I'll just get some paper towel and I'm just going to just soak up those dots there. Okay, and I'll do the same over here. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to dry those both off. And there you have it. So you have, this is just normal cardstock. Okay, so it does oxidise really nicely as well. What's my favourite? Well, I think they are all my favourite. I think they all do a little bit different things with the different types of paper. Okay, so we've got our gessoed watercolour cardstock, which turned out well, and the gesso stripes have come out of that as well. So really, really pretty. And then you've got... Um, it really oxidizes really nicely. Then you've got the, this is the Kodak photo paper. So, and I like how the blues has come out of these. And I only used peacock feathers and abandoned coral for that one. These three here are the, just the normal watercolour cardstock and they oxidised really well as well. And of course these two here is just the normal paper for card making. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's given me some ideas as well what to make or create and the differences that they actually come out with. Now don't forget, if you have finished playing, always remember to clean the nozzles on these as well. Okay, so just by rubbing a wet baby wipe just on the top there. Okay, and then you're ready to play for next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. Look out for my next video where I will be creating some cards with these backgrounds here. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya. Thank you.